What is up? Folks, fuck, I forgot the intro for a second. We are reacting to Ruby Volume 9 Episode 2 today. Uh, so this is going to be my reaction to the full episode of Episode 2. We just got done uh, with Episode 1. As I said, I am d reacting to Episodes 1 through 6 all in a row because, you know, uh, I'm, I'm very behind. I want to catch up and... Vo episode 6 and onwards seem to be heavy spoiler territory that I might not be able to avoid, so we're gonna do it. Anyways, if you like what you see here, leave a like, comment on what you think of the episode and my reaction to it, and without any further ado, let's get it. 3, 2, 1, episode 2. Wah, wah, wah. I fucking love this opening! Oh! I plan to do a Ruby cover album, watch it. When when I eventually put it out. They'll be over It's such a good opener. It's my favorite opener for Ruby, like ever. I fucking love this opening. It's so good. All right. God, that looks gorgeous. So are we just gonna stand around thinking about this in silence, or? I might use that joke in the fall. Weird, but a fairy tale. I mean, that, that's impossible. <clears throat> what we've seen is improbable, but that doesn't mean we're in an actual fairy tale. Are we seriously entertaining this? Do you have a better explanation for what's going on? Well, let's try to be more logical, shall we? We fell from the sky. Ruby made friends with a tiny mouse. Friends! Blake and I got caught by killer vines, and... Uh, you got your arm stolen by, by a, what was it that you said? A talking raccoon riding on a purple wagon filled with trash. Trailer quote. Yes, that. Okay, I see your point of view. I am going to go over here now. Crazy as it sounds. Is Weiss gonna be the comic relief in this volume? I'm all for that. The girl who fell through the world. Yep. I. I think we're in the ever after. Look at that! Like, that world is make believe. It was just part of a story we all read as kids. It's not make believe, it's where I live. Can you tell us more about it? Have you ever heard the name Alex? An Alex? Is that a purpose? In the story, Stop with Alex the purpose Alex thing! You're making me feel anxiety! Got trapped in vines, bought a Jabberwalker, and got her knife stolen by... a talking raccoon. <sighs> yeah, and then she beat the Red King at a board game, met the curious cat, the rusted knight, and finally got out through... Tree. So what now? Do we go to the tree, look for Alex, 
Yang's arm? Ruby, you're still missing Crescent Rose. I'll bet the Jinxie Peddler has it. Who? <laughs> <laughs> the Her reactions! That's the only talking like, red Oh my I god. Know. Do you know where he might be? I fucking love Kara's voice acting. She's so good. Oh, of course. So, the town is just ahead, right? <laughs> I've been thinking. If we're going to go to this town, we need to be careful. Alex didn't know their customs and ended up starting a war among the townsfolk. Trouble followed her everywhere she went. Well, yeah, but she was kind of a mean person, right? She lied and cheated her way through most of the book. She was trying to survive. The morals of those old stories are so simplistic. Either way, we need to tread lightly. Mmm, the town's just up ahead. The Jinxie Peddler always stops by our village before he goes to town. Do they steal stuff from you guys, too? Steal? Never. They just take the things we're not looking at. Fair's fair. It's the same fucking thing! Sounds like a legitimate business person. How did they manage to steal your arm anyway? I was knocked out from the fall. When I came to, that sneaky raccoon had already grabbed my arm and ran off before I could stop him. <laughs> so would you say he caught you unarmed? Oh, God. <laughs> How disarming. I guess we'll have to catch you. About time. For <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry. There was a little bit of... Uh... Find a way out of here, and then we'll go back home. <laughs> anyway. Weiss? It's... It's all gone. There's mm. nothing left for me to go back to. Just like Beacon. You did the best you could for Atlas Weiss. But it wasn't enough. Fuck off! Oh! Oh! The phrasing! You! D oh! Fuck you, Groovy! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. But the- the- People have been saying that Ruby is going to go like batshit or have a breakdown. Oh! God! Fucking hell! Alright, let's keep going. Sorry. We hatched but a that crazy was... plan that put a whole kingdom at risk, and we don't even know if we saved the relics from... Maybe... John and Winter were able to get them out. Despite... everything. Oh my god. Oh, despite that... Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was so good. I, I know that Penny, I know that was a lot to hear. Yeah. Sorry, but, oh my god. And she, oh. God. Yo, that was kind of sick. So, this is the entrance to the other acre, you called it? <laughs> okay. Yep. All we do is cross the bridge, and we'll be... Well, wherever over there is. You don't know? Nope. Never been this far from home. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh, maybe you should go back? I wouldn't have any idea how to go back. Maybe I'll live by this bridge. <laughs> <sighs> I'll handle this. Built in a house, my very first house. <laughs> Gotta find my purpose in my best house. Would you like to come with us? Yeah, that's probably for the best. Yeah. Be the trusty guy. Oh, okay. No, I'm only going to sing this as a birthday party. Everybody. I've always wanted to be long. 
but I'm still too small. <laughs> no! No, man! There it is. So what's the strategy? Just start roughing him up or what? She, she just told you guys. Can't do that. In the book, Alex had to barter with Jinxie for her dagger. Yeah, I think I'd rather hit him. <laughs> Yo, the particle effect. Jinxie's treasures are just other items in disguise so that people think they're buying something extremely valuable. Mm. Okay. So, which one is Yang's arm? Duh. What does your heart tell you? That's how Alex knew. <laughs> I mean, uh. that one looks roughly arm sized ish. Yeah, it has the designs. Ruby? There's. Something about that one. First item! The diamond studded rabbit! You! Jigsies! <laughs> How are we going to bid without any money? I don't think there's any money in the Ever After. Jinxie just names whatever prize he wants. What did Jinxie want from Alex? Her saddest memory. And oh. her happiest. So for a hug. <gasps> Hugs are very valuable. Okay. okay. This won't be so bad after all. Second item, a golden scepter. You. Huh? The bidding starts. At no, I was the first one to knowing what it is to feel loved. <gasps> a fair price for some, I'd say. Fuck off. You know... <sighs> the the call-outs. The callbacks. God. A girl already has abandonment issues. You don't need to make them worse by reminding her. Fuck off. Man. And of course Knowing she has nothing like to say. to feel loved by royal decree. Sold! Wait, that's my Wait. arm! Whatever it is, it's royal property now. No price is too high for his majesty's birthday. First item, the chain We tried it your way, Blake. <laughs> no! Ruby! What are you, what are you doing? doing? Bidding start set. What is with this one? To fill this jar. Fuck off! Hmm. You don't have enough, do you? Keep taking things when you're not looking! Why, Just you desserts, little... motherfucker! Leave that alone! You can't touch it until the deal is done! <laughs> huh? Fuck off! Fuck off! That is not it's what I just thing. thought it was. That is not what I just saw there. I'm going for it! Fuck. Right. God damn it! Ruby! Damn it! Yeah! Come on. Uh, fuck. That's one of Penny's blades, isn't it? <laughs> he has to give the hug back. But fuck! That's... That's mean. That's cruel. Those people take auctions very seriously. High five? That, that, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> We're doing the same thing Alex did. We're ruining everything. That's your biggest concern right now? I've read so many stories. I never thought I'd be the moral of one. Fair. Yeah, that's... 
Ruby? Fuck off, man. I couldn't explain why, but I... I was drawn to it. No kidding. Yo, the weather's reacting to her again. Okay. Great. Now it's raining on just us. That's it. We're getting out of this nightmare. Yo, like, Weiss's animation? Alex went to the tree, right? Let's go. I don't That's think so fluid. Like, that. like Weiss's animation this volume up. is so and good. Even if we were, no how like, whoever ends. did right over there. her stuff, this volume is great. Oh, she's gonna... Stupid You can't get any closer to the tree that way. Well then what do we do now? We've got my arm, but we still don't have Christmas. I can't get out. This way! Somebody stand! I need that too. If I ruined the royal birthday, these guys again. Blake, what did Alex do next? Oh, weather's clearing up. She uh, went to the Crimson Castle and beat the Red King at his own game. Heza! You treasonous birthday ruiners! Okay. We want to go to the birthday party. We want to go to the birthday party. Well, too bad, because we're going to... Oh, yes. <laughs> That's where we're taking you, as prisoners for stealing royal property. What if I offered you something better? The weapon of a powerful warrior. Fuck off. Fuck right off. Ooh, go on. Not just a powerful warrior. The most powerful to ever live. She was touched by magic. She gave her life for thousands. She took a message of hope to the stars. And she saw the world through better eyes. Damn it, man! Take us to the royal birthday. And allow us to present this most Fuck precious gift. Off. Right off. Just. <laughs> yes. By royal decree. Come on, men. You heard her. We've got a birthday to celebrate. <laughs> Ruby? Are you sure about this? Look, we may not know exactly what's going on. But for whatever reason, this place is putting us on a similar path as a book we all read as kids. I say we follow it. And stop pretending we know what we're doing. I'm right up here, Kruby. You are testing my fucking... I that that's fine. I I I I God damn it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um All right, let's talk about it. I want to slap Eddie right now. <laughs> this episode was great, but it was great for all the wrong reasons. Like the amount of trauma and introspection within these last, just, just the two episodes that have been out has been crazy. I do love it though. I love the fact that we're acknowledging things about the characters that have needed to be acknowledged. You know, Yang having gone through what she did with her mother and you know, you know, feeling what it is to be loved, you know, in a sense, like, man, it's, it's insane how, I, I, I don't want to say like how the characters have grown since then, but I kind of do because they really have grown as characters. Like it's small changes to their character, 
but they definitely have grown and it's it's nice to see that growth shown in a show don't tell kind of way unlike what ruby has done a couple times however um i really like this episode it, it was funny in a lot of places too like <laughs> why is throwing the rock and it just boom like that was great um i i'm getting kind of the feeling that weiss is the comic relief for the volume and honestly i'm all for that because kara's voice acting is so good and her comedic timing on a lot of stuff like out, even outside of ruby is fantastic i i love just her open personality i love it and using her voice for a comic relief sort of role is actually really great i do like it so yeah I have been Ian of Winter Does Stuff, and we reacted to Ruby, Volume 9, Episode 2. If you like what you see here, leave a like, comment on what you thought of the episode and my reaction in the comments. Uh, subscribe and ring the bell, because there's a lot of stuff coming, and it's absolutely free, and it helps me out a lot. And yeah, that's about it. Peace in due time.